Let's hit some garage sales. I found some bolos. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna show you what I found. Hey, bolo buddies. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, I hit, I think three sales in this video. Um, I did pretty good. I, I did grab this keto diet thing. I'm gonna keep that and check it out. Um, there were some cookbooks in here, probably definitely some money I could have made on those, but you guys, I am overwhelmed with inventory. So I am being a little more selective but it doesn't hurt to look, right? Um, these were, uh, I think they were DVDs. So, um, all right, so I did find a nice little treasure at this sale and stay tuned for that. This is a community sale. There were a lot of sales. I did not do footage of many because honestly, I didn't pick up too much. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And this community sale was not that great. But I did find this little gem. She is the sign language teacher, Barbie doll. So I have her up for, um, listed in my eBay store. We've got some Halloween items. Right now is the time to be listing Halloween items, you guys. Definitely, definitely. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I probably should have grabbed those. I think they were glass, but I couldn't find uh, the brand. They were only $2.50. Probably should have got it. I do find that when I'm recording, I miss stuff. That's why I don't do a whole lot of garage sale videos because I really think I need to focus on shopping, looking things up. And I, like I said, I miss things sometimes when I'm recording. So I probably should have got those glass ornaments. Uh, there were some tapes here. This is another area that I feel like I could probably educate myself more in because there are Bolo tape cassettes but I just am not uh, super familiar with all of them. Now, one thing I do like are ornaments, and I did look some of these up. These little mice had decent comps, um, depending on which ornament it was. I did start this out on auction at $14.99, just hoping maybe I would get some bids. I did not, so I went ahead and relisted re those for a buy it now. Now, I always pick up these little book ornaments. I've done really well with these in the past. Uh, they always sell for me. These are a different brand than I am familiar with, and they did have a little bit of damage once I got home. So um, I think they will still sell, but where the staple is on the inside, there was a little bit of rust. So I just disclosed it, put a picture of it, and just reduced what I would originally ask for them. There were probably some other ornaments that I could have grabbed here, but again, I am just loaded up with inventory. I did grab this little guy, um, and there's another one you can see in the photo of the eBay listing that I put together. And, you know, not big money, just super cute little wood vintage ornaments. There's the other one. And that one actually said Lefton. I think it's pronounced on the bottom. So I just lotted those up and they are available in my eBay store. So I did find a few other things at this sale, but the next sale was amazing. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Um, you know, you walk up to a sale sometimes and you're like, yes, this sale is awesome. And that is what the next sale was for me. So there were some VHS underneath the table. I did check those out, decided to pass on those. Currently, I am picking up any VHS that I find that are sealed. Um, it seems to be like a crazy thing going on right now with VHS. I have heard people are getting them graded. I don't know if that is true. Seems crazy. But um, I'm going to pick up any sealed VHS if I can get them cheap even if they're just a bread and butter. All right, I did pick up some of these plushies. Uh, those did not sell on auction. I do start my auctions at the minimum I'm willing to take, and I hope that I will get a bidding war, but if not, I just relist them at a buy it now or best offer. 
These little reindeer plush are fantastic. The problem is they are vintage and they no longer work and there is nowhere that you can put in a new battery. So unfortunately, those are only for decoration, but I thought they were still worth picking up. I mean, maybe if somebody wanted to like unsew it and then sew it back up, if they wanted to put all that effort into it, maybe they could fix it but I'm just selling them as is, as a decor item. So um, yeah, I mean, the prices were fair on everything, so I'll make a little bit of money. Nothing, no big money bolos at this sale, but again, the next sale was fantastic. So I was checking out the silver. I'm looking for anything that is marked silver. She seemed to know what she had, so uh I went ahead and just passed on those items. Some silver plate items can do okay, so definitely look things up, but uh, just be careful not to overpay. All right, you guys, this is the next sale, and I'm telling you, it was so cool. Now, these little things, they're like chicks. I pro There were two of them. I probably could have made a little bit of profit. I wish I would have grabbed this jellyfish, or is it a jellyfish or a squid? I don't know what it is. It was made in China, so that's why I put it back down. But the more I th have thought about it, I'm like, it's just a cool paperweight, even if it's made in China and not super old. So um, it may have still been vintage, even though um, it was made in China. Typically, I look for made in Japan or Hong Kong. Um, those items are typically vintage and have more value. But I do think I should have picked up that paperweight. What do you guys think? There were so many cool items here. I probably should have got this little guy. Super cute. Um, there were some trolls that I didn't get. I don't know. I, you know, you just get caught up in everything and sometimes you miss things. And it's like, again, I have so much stuff that I'm trying to focus on maybe the higher dollar items or things that I just really enjoy listing. I don't enjoy listing breakables. So unless it's um, a big money bolo, I typically will pass. However, I say that, and I did pick up a um, plate last week that was just a bread and butter, but I figured it would have a quick sell-through rate, and I was correct. It sold really, really fast. So um, it was in my What Sold video on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, if you guys want to check that out. These... Definitely can be a bolo. The condition was not great. These are paper dolls. Paper dolls vary, so definitely look them up. These did not have a super high sell-through, uh, not sell-through rate, but um, sold prices. So I went ahead and passed. The condition wasn't great. If they would have been sealed and new, I definitely would have picked them up. The other is a coloring book. I passed on that also, um, but I did check it out. I don't know what this thing is. Maybe I should have got it. I don't know if you hang like jewelry on it. I did find these little um, antique uh, Valentines and those can definitely be a bolo. I did try to auction them, no bids. So I have relisted those with a buy it now or best offer. Again, I always start my auctions at what I hope to get for them. And if they don't sell, I just relist buy it now. There's always that chance that you could get a bidding war. So if it's something that is rare or unique or I don't really know the market, I will try that auction. All right, so um, lots of cool things here. I am getting ready to come upon a big money bolo. Oh, sorry, not yet, wrong spot. I, I think I hit the plush first, which I did really well with plush at this sale. Um, Plush can be a bolo. You have to be selective. All right, so this crab or lobster, it's not a crab, it's a lobster. I have sold that before. It is a nice little bolo, but I didn't know if it worked and it didn't have the packaging. I probably could have grabbed this monkey here, but I didn't. He was new with tags and probably would have been a nice bread and butter. Uh, I think all of the items in here were either 50 cents or a dollar. I can't remember. Okay, you guys, this is the Mother Goose, Talking Mother Goose. She is definitely a bolo item if she works. 
Um, I could not get her to work, so I just listed her cheap for parts of repair. The raccoon you just saw, awesome backpack. I already sold the little lamb chop, and the dress that was on the lamb chop I listed separately. It was a vintage child's dress, and sometimes those do pretty well. It wasn't in mint condition, so I just priced it accordingly. This is a bunch of Avon stuff. I did not get any of that, but I do feel really good about the plush that I got. Um, I love that little raccoon backpack. I did price that high, as you guys can see. Um, I do have best offer on it. This little guy needed a battery and his comps were not that great, so I just ended up donating him. Um, somebody else can clean it up and put batteries in it. Some Barbies over here. I definitely probably could have made a little money on those. They weren't priced. I didn't ask. Um, but again, I have loads of Barbies that I need to list. It's one of those things that I pick up and I always just put to the side and never get to. They had a lot of cool books here. Books are another thing that I feel like I buy them and then I just let them sit and I never list them. Um, so I went ahead and passed on these. Was there some money that could be made? Probably most definitely. These Magic School Bus, I almost picked them up. Um, there were lots of vintage books in here, and I think she gave me a price for the whole box. Definitely could have made money, but I just went ahead and uh, passed on those. All right, so... I don't know what I was doing right there. I must have been looking at something. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I went back to the trolls, and I didn't get them. I did look this thing up. I mean, it had okay comps, but nothing, nothing worth getting. All right, here it is, you guys. The jacket. This is a Neon Nivica, I think is how you pronounced it. N-I-V-C-A, I think. And it is definitely a bolo, and I paid $1 for it. Um, super, super cool item. This table had a lot of breakables, but I did pick some stuff up. So I'm going to show you what I got here. Um, I did pick up this little whale. It's from uh, Cedar Point. It's a paperweight. Uh, it was vintage, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. I, I couldn't pass it up. It was super cute, and it was cheap. I think it was like 50 cents or a dollar or something like that. Now the next item are these awesome zebras. I do not know what this mark is on the foot. If anybody knows, please let me know. They are made in Japan. Um, they're just fantastic. So I went ahead and listed those. I feel like it's gonna take the right buyer, but they are breakable, but I felt like they were worth um, worth my packaging time. That's the problem, you guys. It takes me forever to pack things that are breakable. And I'm like, it's just not worth it. So um, I went ahead and grabbed the zebras. Can you believe it? So let's see. What else did we find? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I grab a small bag of jewelry from uh, the table over here. So I will show you guys what is in that bag. That little mushroom salt and pepper shaker, I probably would have grabbed if it would have had its partner, but there was only one, so I did not grab it. What do you guys think about that pig? Should I have grabbed the pig? Uh, old bottles. Okay, here's the little bag of jewelry, and I think it was $4, but I ended up getting that for 3 That's the only thing I negotiated on at the sale. Okay, this is a $4 grab bag from a garage sale. Um, I did negotiate it down to $3 because I was buying a bunch of stuff. Got a little box, empty. Um, I have no idea. This is some sort of, it says, I don't know, is it a light bulb or something? Okay, but more importantly, I bought it for the jewelry. Um, this is just like a costume jewelry fish, but it's pretty big and cute. Um, this little Cupid. Don't see any markings on that. We're just gonna look through it real quick. This is just cheap. Um, this here. Uh, it says G-U-L-A. I don't have my glasses on, but yeah, G-U-L-A. So I'll look that up. 
Um, this one says TC, and it's just a uh, enameled butterfly. We have a little crab here. No markings on that one. We have these horses that are kind of in the shape of a heart. Um, some plate wear on that, made in Thailand. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? Here's a, a is that a, I don't know what kind of bird that is. I was gonna say a duck or a goose. I don't think it's a goose, but it's just a pen. Uh, one of the things I saw that caught my eye was this little draft. I forget who told me that, I think it was one of my subscribers said to look for drafts because they sell good. Um, this does not feel super heavy or anything. So um, actually it looks like it is marked there, but I can't read what it says. Um, is that, it just kind of looks like maybe a K. I don't know. I'll see if I can look into that. This here is a horse, I think, or a unicorn. Looks vintage for sure. Oh, looky there, guys. We have some sterling, it says. Can you guys see it? Oh, my camera's not focused, sorry. Yeah, it says sterling. So, I don't know. I guess I'll, I know people say don't clean it up. Some people say clean it up. It's not very big. Uh, this little necklace here. Um, looks like some earrings. I'll have to get a loop and look at that. Looks like a single earring. That feels very cheap. Uh, this looks like um, a boat, a dragon boat. Again, I'll have to get a loop to see if that's marked. Nothing, I'm not seeing anything with my eyes, but that doesn't mean anything. This is just another cheap necklace. Um, I'll, some of these things, like I'll just throw in a lot and I won't mess with. People can use them to craft or whatever. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of maybe necklace. That stone has like holes in it. And that guy. And I don't see any markings on that either. So not too bad for $3. I can definitely sell this piece. I feel like I want to clean this up. So maybe I'll do that with you guys. Okay, you guys. Uh, this sale, I did find a nice little score. Um, I was actually pretty shocked by the price. Um, right here in this, well, hold on. Let's see what else I find real quick. I did not buy that. Here it is. Look at this, you guys, $5. It's a Nintendo DS, it works. Um, I did put it up for auction, it did not sell. Um, so I have it relisted with a buy it now or best offer. So I did price it um, high on auction and just the minimum I wanted to get. And that's how I do it. If it doesn't sell, I relist it for a buy it now which is typically what happens with my auctions. And that's what I expect to happen, but I just always take a chance. That I put on Poshmark because it's Ulta, and I just thought there'd be a better market over there. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.